Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Pokemonja. So today is Starbirth release day. So I have been running around. I've got us a booster box here of Starbirth. We're going to open this one up today. I'm really excited for this set. This is going to be the basis of what we're going to see in Brilliant Stars in English. Um, obviously not all of the cards in here will end up in Brilliant Stars and Brilliant Stars will be far more cards than what this set is. This set in Japanese is 100 cards only, so Brilliant Stars is going to be a hell of a lot more cards than that. Uh, but I'm excited to open this up. Um, this is the introduction of the new V-Star mechanic. So this is the cool little V-Star token that you use in the game, tracking your V-Star usage. It's really cool. The cards look really awesome. Uh, they're an alternative to running V Maxes in a deck. You run a V Star or V Maxes. You can run both, uh, but they all come off of the original base V Pokemon as an evolution. That's really, really cool. I like that. Give you some options, give some strategy. But without further ado, let's get into this box. And of course, with every box or every new box, on release day, I've got some fancy sleeves to put all our pulls into. Got these Arceus sleeves. Arceus, Arceus, Arceus. It's Arceus in Japanese. I'm going to say Arceus because it sounds cooler. Anyway, I'm going to get this box open and we're going to get into it. Okay, so here we have our box all nice and prepped. All the packs have been snipped open that you just saw in record time. Uh, so we're going to move this to the side. Yeah, just, just in frame. And we're going to get into these packs. Okay, our first pack of Starbirth. Oh, I'm really excited. So the, the possible V-Star cards, I really haven't looked into... I haven't looked into any of the, the secret rares that could be possibly in here, but I do know the, the, the most of the basic cards, I think. Um, there's four V-Stars in, in the entire set. There is a Shaman, there's a Charizard V-Star, a Whimsicott, and an Arceus card. Arceus, Arceus, Arceus. Um, they're going to be on screen, or they've already been on screen. I don't know. Something will happen on the screen. There'll be cards on the screen somewhere. Uh, hopefully we'll pull any of those. The Charizard's cool, but I really want the Arceus because he is the, the poster boy of this set. Poster girl, poster, poster Pokemon. Poster Pokemon of this set. Okay, let's get into our first pack. Let me go look. Electabuzz. A Boltoy. Shroomish. And as we say it, as we say it, the poster boy, poster Pokemon, poster girl, poster, poster thing, the poster has been pulled out of the first pack. Love it. Absolutely love it. The Arceus V-Star. Arceus V-Star. So the difference between the V-Maxes and the V-Stars, the V-Stars have this V-Star power, which can be an attack, it can be a, a power, it can be like a, a skill, but you can only use this once per game, kind of like the old GX cards and the GX skills. These are really cool. That's a really nice holographic pattern all the way across that. But out of the first pack, absolute first pack magic there. Put you into the sleeve and you can go back here with our Piplops. Lovely. Okay, our next pack. Oh, that's fun. Absolutely fun. 
Love getting a nice pull like that on the first pack ever. But that is just, of course, the normal uh, V-Star. It's not a secret rare. Not a secret rare, so it's Cynthia. Siliglyph. Chinchino. And a Breloon. Not a secret rare, that one, the V-Star. It is just the standard V-Star card. Still a beautiful looking card. I'm not unhappy to pull that at all. One to the front. Heatran. Sorg. Duskull. A Burmy. And... Hamana no backup. Something's back up. Somebody's back up. I don't know. I don't know the English names of these trainer cards yet. I haven't seen the English versions yet, so I don't know what they should be called. I should probably look into the, the Brilliant Stars set list and find out, but you know, that's that sounds like work. Hey, Probo Pass. Ryolu. Luxio. A cast form. Hey, and Boss's Orders. Boss's Orders, this one. That lovely... Gen 4 vibes. Cyrus. Is his name Cyrus? Cyrus, I think. Cyrus bosses orders Cyrus. Team Galactic. The baddies. Always the baddies. And. Ooh! A Clefable. Throw. Corpish. Chimeco. In. Fernape. Love the fire starters, obviously. As I've I've said many times, love the fire starters in my brilliant diamond playthrough. Obviously, I went with Chimchar. Infernape is my boy. Infernape, love it. Next pack, we have. Cling Clang! Greatest Pokemon names ever. Cling, then Clang, then Cling Clang. Amazing. Pachirisu. In Japanese, Pachama. Piplup. In English, Sneasel. And a... A helmet that is a pot. A pot helmet. The, 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 this is amazing. The, the pun in Japanese, Nabe Metto. Pot helmet. The pot that you wear on your head. Not sure that's going to provide much protection, but you know, whoever's going to do that, you do you. You do you. Next. I can't remember your name. Shinx, Kabuchu, Magmar, and a Clay Doll. Being really excited for this set. I'm super excited to see the English version of these when, when Brilliant Stars comes out. But it's super excited for this set. Electivire. We've got Legends Arceus coming out in two weeks. Clang. Hey! Farfetch'd. Let's go with our, our Surfetch'd over here. Farfetch'd. Muck. And... Moltres. Moltres. Super excited for Legends Arceus. Got that coming out uh, in a couple of weeks. Uh, I am taking that day off of work so I can be home and ready for it to arrive. Double Turbo Energy. Gibble. Crawdaunt. Electabuzz. And... I... Again, forgetting the names. It'll be on screen because I'm an idiot and I can't remember things. I know it, it evolves from... It's the final evolution of Starly. Staraptor? Staraptor, is it? Staraptor? Is it... It'll be on screen if I'm wrong. Staraptor, I think. Ah, oh, Wormadam. One of the weird Wormadams. Metal Wormadam. Golet. Starly. Shroomish and Weavile. See, I'm getting better at this generation of Pokemon because I am playing through uh, Diamond and Pearl, or Diamond, Brilliant Diamond at the moment, so I'm seeing a lot of these Pokemon now in the National Decks and getting better at it. Floatzel, Weasel, 
Execute, Chimchar, and Empoleon. Holographic. We're almost halfway through this box. So yeah, I'm getting better at Gen 4. Um, I need to go through and play Gen 5 and replay Gen 6 and 7. Clink! Minchino, Nose Pass, and a Lucario Holograph. That's awesome! Almost, you know, very Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball vibes there. Kamehameha, Ball Power. That's really cool. That's an awesome looking card. That's nice. I like that. I like that. I want a full art version of that. Maybe there is one. Maybe there's a secret rare. I don't know. Like I said, I haven't looked into any of the secret rares. I don't know what's in this set at all. So we're going to get surprised whatever we, we find today. Another Heatran. Turtwig. Clefairy. Gabite. And yet another Wormadam. It's another form of Wormadam. There's, what, three forms of Wormadam? I, I can't keep track. There's so many Burmies as well. There are different colored Burmies. They're all Burmie, but then there's Wormadam that's different evolutions, the same name, but they're all different types. It's weird. Magmorta, look at the Electivire in the background. Been beast. The Magmorta looks weird. It's kind of like, you know, creepy you know, fire Donald Duck, evil Donald Duck. Burmy, see what I mean? Like three different Burmies. It's the boy. The god Pokemon, Bidoof. And Monferno. Hey! Beautiful Shaman V-Star. Two V-Stars. Lovely. Awesome. Shaman V-Star. You also get a nice sleeve and you go back here with your Arceus V-Star friend we have the two V-Stars can we get all four that would be a dream an absolute dream Whimsicott and Charizard to go can we pull them there's a possibility it's not impossible that's the stadium card Piplup, Siliglyph, Spiritomb, and another Wormadam. Okay, so that's the first half of this box done. First pack of our second half. Aha! Oops. And we have a Tropius. So, I am still in the process of sending out the uh, Duskull. The cards that people won in my giveaway for 100 subscribers. Go look. Uh, but we do still have our lofty, lofty goal of trying to get 500 subscribers by the end of February. We can do it. I know we can. If we do... We're going to do another giveaway. It might even be a Starbirth giveaway. Who knows? But if you want to be part of that and you want to want to get a chance at that, you will need to be subscribed. I might even do it as a live opening. Farfetch'd. I haven't, haven't worked out the logistics yet. I would love to do it as a live opening. Magmar. Grodal. Raichu V! Lovely. Awesome, Raichu is such a neglected Pokemon. Pikachu takes all of the limelight. Raichu V. Beautiful. Absolutely love me, Raichu. Raichu is in the same sort of vein as, as Marit in terms of neglect. Pokemon Company, d give Raichu more love. That's, that's a beautiful, beautiful card. Give Raichu more love. Please. Anyway, as I was saying, you will need to be subscribed. I do want to do a, a live box opening, and then that would be the giveaway as well, so people can then join in and be part of it as I'm opening it. See their pools live. Manaphy. So please, you know, subscribe, get subscribed, turn on notifications, 
Dust Glops. See when all my videos come out, Shinx and a Ryulu. And an Arceus V. Lovely. So you obviously need the Arceus V to be able to use the Arceus V star, so that's not that's not bad. I'm okay with that. I'm okay. I can now put Arceus and Arceus V star into a deck. So I'm gonna put the V's down here. The V-Stars should be the the stars of the show. Ha! 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 Uh, dad jokes. Love them. Love them. So this is Muck. So the card that I saw before was Grimer. This is Muck. Another Chimeco. Weasel. Starly. And a Hyper ball our next pack another breloom sock crawdont executor and cliff fable i think we've had almost all the pools we're going to see out of this box now that's that's four you know, V's and V star, or two V's and two V stars. I think that's about all we're going to see. But there's always hope. So stick with the bat channel. Oh, I see some shiny there. What have we got? Hey, it's a Flygon V. I forgot this card existed. Flygon V. Absolutely no print lines either. Recently, the VMAX Climax cards and uh the 25th anniversary cards a lot of print lines also the, the they did a big reprint recently of uh shiny star v that had so many print lines through them um partly because they're trying to you know outdo scalpers and get more supply out into the world i forget your name moth mothma it sounds like Mon Mothma, that can't be right. Baltoy. The God Pokemon Bidoof. Grimer. I know you're Grimer now. And Dusk Noir. Dusk Noir. I will never forget you now, Dusk Noir. After I forgot you previously. So yeah, they were trying to outdo all the scalpers. Uh, trying to, you know, put so much supply out there that there was no benefit to buying everything up and trying to scalp it through through eBay or Amazon or, or you know the various Yahoo auctions in Japan and stuff like that but because of that Luxray they ended up producing so many cars at such a high pace come to that I think their quality control Burmy fell off a bit and that means that it ended up with a lot more print lines and a lot more sort of miscuts. So the the cutting of Japanese cards is generally better than than uh, Western cards, but also their card stock is a lot thinner, so I think it cuts more easily. Gibble. The other side of that though is because the card stock is thinner. Torterra. The card stock is thinner. It means that they're very very affected by humidity air can uh humidity percentages and they can curl very very easily i've got a couple here i'll, I'll show one in a second the different card of a different set that's, that's just curled because of the humidity because the card stock is so thin it doesn't have any real structure i like the bars to stop it from from really curling hey badoof's older brother I can't remember. I see its name every single time I use a, a, an HM, but you know, <laughs> I can't remember. So yeah, so this is this is a a 25th anniversary holographic energy, and as you can see, the bend is real. It's warped to all hell. This is not me flexing it. This is just the way it is. It's especially so with the holographic cards because of, I think, the cardstock being thinner and the 
holographic foil inside also then affecting its its structure that they don't handle humidity at all really well um once they're sleeved they're in a relatively hard uh, structured sleeve they stay pretty good and if they're in a in a in a binder they're also pretty good lapras but yeah just leaving them out i i sillily left that card out on the desk here and yeah it's now now bent like that but it is an energy card i'm not too fast it's a trillion of them i've still got many many boxes of the 25th anniversary to open tornadoes um silly glyph because i'm still hunting that gosh darn golden mew i still haven't got it i'm gonna do a few more shorts soon uh hunting that golden mew we'll see if we can pull it but we haven't pulled it yet. We still haven't seen the secret rare in this box though. Cling Clang. Starly. Maybe we're going to get a last pack magic. Corpish. And Pachurus. And the Charizard V. Maybe there's a... Oh, is there going to be a, a secret rare Charizard? Is that... No, oh, it's the V. So the V goes, goes here. Move these to the side a little bit so the V can go in there. I think on average you're supposed to get, you know, seven or eight maybe Vs. No, maybe it's six. I think this is about all we've got pools wise. We'll see. We've got two more packs to go. Rayolu, Chimeco, and Magmortar again. See what I mean? It's like weird, like evil fire, Donald Duck, creepy face, dude. And then Electivire, just, you know, beard boss in the background. Okay, our last pack of Starbirth for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've stuck around to see our last pack. Let's get into it. We have a Probo Pass, a Piplop, Throw, a Sneasel. Yep, last pack, Secret Rare. What have we got? Cynthia! Cynthia. Cynthia's aspiration, Cynthia's passion. I don't. I'll put the, the translation of this card up on screen for the English name. But we have Cynthia, Secret Rare, in our last pack. Definitely deserves a sleeve. Don't want to handle this too much. It looks pretty well scented. It might be a little tiny bit bigger on this side than this side. But that is an awesome looking card. I love that the artwork is nice and simple. Oh, the, the holographic pattern. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. The light bouncing off. Really hard to, to get this see it there is like a texture through the card it's really hard to see with my lighting set up here which will be rectified soon will be rectified soon okay so this has been my first box opening of starbirth newest pack on opening day today i think we had a good run we got some big names we got the arceus v star and the Sh shaman v star okay well Coming soon, I will be opening some more Starbirth. I'm going to be hunting down that golden Mew. But until next time, I will see you in the next video. Bye!